kayo ba'y pauwi ng Pilipinas? Ating alamin, ano ba itong one-stop shop, swabbing stations in Naiya Terminals? Magkano? At ganun din gano'ng katagal bago makuha ang resulta. Ating alamin, mga balikbayan at mga OFWs, panoorin nyo ito. And I'm, I'm inviting all of you to please subscribe to my channel so that you can get updates. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Trainer Jamie Iris and I am here to once again bring you updated, timely information and news regarding what's happening to our country today so that at least when you return to the Philippines, you will be prepared. Ganun din kung meron po tayong mga OFWs, hindi lang po parating kung hindi pa alis ng Pilipinas. So, please ensure that you stay and at the same time uh, watch my video so that at least you will know what is happening and you will be prepared. Para po sa araw na ito, I will share to you ano ba yung uh, latest na nangyayari sa ating bansa. Just like yesterday, I posted a video and there will be like several videos that I will be posting today. That there were a lot of Filipinos stranded here in the Philippines. So kahapon po may bilang na 6,000 uh, na Filipinos ang stranded. It started with 2,000 and then naging 4,000 and then recently, just two days ago, may 6,000 OFWs po tayo na stranded sa kanila mga hotel quarantine or let us just say, they were not uh, able to go home yet simply because wala pa po ang swab test result. So therefore, they have not received their negative uh, negative result certificate from BOQ. So what is being done and what's happening after a day uh, from that? So may mga nakapanayam din po ako at nakausap na mga OFWs, merong sea-based, meron din pong land-based and share ko po sa inyo ano yung mga experiences nila na na-share sa akin so that at least you will also understand and know and we will lessen the kumbaga po yung disappointment and frustration simply because of uh, unexpected negative experiences na maari nyo ma-experience sa airport na kanila rin pong naranasan. Uh, ganun din po, hoping din pag umuwi na kayo, hindi na po ganito yung proseso at much better na. But it's better to know, uh, know it in advance so that at least you know what you need to do and what you need to expect. So, if you're interested at pauwi na po kayo ng Pilipinas o meron kayong mga kamag-anak na OFWs din, please uh, listen and watch this video so that it will help you. At ganun din, kung meron kayong uh, again, uh, mga OFW na kakilala, please don't hesitate share this video so that it will also help me. So, ano pang balita natin ngayon? So, uh, yesterday, Katulad po ng aking ininform sa inyo sa aking uh, video post na merong mga OFWs na umabot na po sa 6,000 since October 16, uh, 2020 na mga dumating po dito sila sa Pilipinas, umabot na po ng around 6,000 uh, Filipinos uh, who have returned and most of them are OFWs na hindi pa rin po nila nare-receive ang kanilang swab test results. Marami na po ang nag-express ng kanilang frustration disappointments yung iba din po, hindi na po nilang mapigilan na mainis at magalit sapagat limitado lang ang time nila dito sa Pilipinas at feeling nila na uubos na po ito sa pagka-quarantine sa kanila sa hotel although of course the intention is good na kung bakit nagka-quarantine but it just so happened na limited po kasi yung time so what is being done now and what's the latest update na bawasan na po ba ito at katulad ng sinabi ko in a, a while ago is I'll share to you also yung mga interviews ko and at the same time mga information that I've gathered from people who just arrived today at arrived last week uh, na land-based at sea-based na mga OFW, ano po yung naging experience nila at ano po yung maari nating gawin kung sakasakaling naroon din po kayo sa kanilang situation. 
Iyan po. So, let us just take a look. So, isa po sa mga sites that I was able to check is ang uh, Philippine Coast Guard FB page po natin. So, please, I advise also for you to always check this because they give relevant and timely information. So, let me just read a post that they have posted today. So, today is October 23. Now, uh, this was posted earlier. So, one thing that the Philippine Coast Guard is doing is they are giving service before self. So, that's the title of their post. Now, they said uh, that to ensure that all the returning OFWs or returning uh, overseas Filipinos uh, to, the, to our home country every day. So, PCG has added to its frontline personnel who are deployed to Ninoy Aquino International Airport. And this PCG personnel set aside their scheduled off-duty. So, sinacrifice po nila yung kanilang off-day to help with the manual encoding of swab samples as the improv uh, improvisation of an automated encoding system continues to lead the IT personnel of PCG. So, what is happening po is uh, na po nag-stop ang Red Cross na mag test at mag uh, process ng result ng swab test. So ngayon po lahat ay ginagawang manual. Yung dating 3 days at least before na kailangan kumpletuhin ng mga returning overseas Filipinos, ngayon dito na lang po gagawin sa airport at ang magba-manual encoding po nito ay ang uh, kumbaga combination po 'yan. So uh, ang PCG at ganun din po may part din po kayo na returning overseas Filipinos na kailangan i-complete. So there are quite a number of of uh, kumaga, processing po to get your information once you're in the airport. And uh, dahil nga po napakadami ng volume ng mga tao o mga returning OFWs sa Pilipinas, so kailangan din i-increase nila yung manpower from PCG. And marami na po ang nag-sacrifice ng off-duty nila just to help uh, in the manual encoding. Now, they also mentioned here sa kanilang post na entertainment here, PCG personnel are also helping distribute food, giving direction and implementation of minimum health standard in NAIA to ensure return of safety against COVID-19 threat. So, yun po yung ginagawa nila. Ito po yung mga pictures. So, all these pictures came from the PCG uh, site. So, ito po yung mga pictures. As you can see, that they are helping out the returning overseas Filipinos. Maraming salamat po, PCG. At uh, tunay po na na-appreciate namin mga OFW ang inyong pagtulong. Alam po namin na hindi madali. Talaga po kasing nag adjust pa tayo sa manual encoding. But then again, we appreciate your effort. And aside from uh, that update that they have posted today, that's October 23, they also posted uh, yesterday, po, which I will be sharing to you, uh, regarding sa swabbing stations that are now available in uh, the Philippine Air Airports or Philippine International Airports. So, particularly, uh, they've mentioned ito po yung available sa NAIA International Airport Terminals. So, para po ito sa OFWs at non-OFWs. So, let me just uh, share this to you. So, sabi po nila dito, isa ka bang overseas Filipino na nagpaplanong umuwi ng Pilipinas? So, ito yung mga kailangan mong ipag-prepare. Run. <laughs> uh, what you have to prepare for. So, kung oo, ang sabi nila sa kanilang website, narito ang mga swabbing stations na maari mong pagpilian. Tinatawag nila itong one-stop shops sa Ninoy Aquino International Airport. So, they categorize this into three. So, number one, we have the private laboratories. We have the Philippine Red Cross government laboratories. So, para po sa private laboratories, uh, just in case anyone would like to avail of this, so this will uh, the uh, this will cost in, depende po yung costing niya sa number of days ng bilis makukuha ang resulta. For private laboratories, if you want to get the results in two days, this costs 4,000 pesos. If you want to get the result in one day, you will have to pay 7,000 pesos. And if you want to get the result in 12 hours, ganun kabilis, kaya lang po ang katumbas na amount is 10,000 pesos. 
Ganon din po, nag-offer ang Philippine Red Cross. Pero this time po, ito po ay my payment. Hindi po to for free. Kung you want to get the result in 2 to 3 days, for OFW, they're offering this for 3,500. And for non-OFW, this is 4,000 pesos. So, it's your choice po. Especially po for non-OFWs, kasi po talaga naman, you will be shouldering the cost of the swap test. So, you have the option whether you would like to avail of the private laboratories uh, service or the Philippine Red Cross's uh, service. So, yun po yung number of days that you can get the result. Now, for the government laboratories, ito naman po sa mga OFW kasi ito naman po talaga ay supposed to be free for OFWs. But then again, because of the issue between PhilHealth and Red Cross, so it's now the government laboratories who's processing the swab test. So, if you want to get the swab test result free of charge, pwede po ito, kaya nga lang po the result will be released to you minimum 5 days. So, again, minimum. Yung last na announcement po nila, like, 2 days ago, which I shared on my other video, they say 4 to 5 days. But now, they just change it to minimum 5 days. So, maganda po na alam po ninyo ito, number 1, so that you know your options. Second po, para malaman din po ninyo at maset natin yung inyong expectation. So, if you will be availing of the free swab test, everyone, which I believe most of us OFW, dahil nais natin makatipid, hindi po ba? Especially yung mga nawala ng trabaho, then you will be availing of the free of charge swab test. Now, if this is the case, then uh, please be prepared to wait minimum 5 days and up. Now, when it, kay, uh, when it comes to up, yung nakausap ko po kanina, inabot po sila ng 7 days uh, waiting in their hotel. So, they are quite impatient at ganun din po, medyo naiinip na po sila, medyo frustrated din po. Uh, kasi they were not really expecting this. They arrived in the Philippines October uh, 17. So, ka stop lang ng Red Cross mag-process at mag-test. So, hindi talaga nila expected ito. But then again, uh, katulad po ng sinasabi ko, at least we are informed, or I am informing you right now what's happening so that at least ma-manage natin yung expectations po ninyo at hindi po kayo todo-todo na ma-disappoint at you can arrange your schedule or itinerary accordingly. Yan. So, let me uh, read some more of the information that they have placed here. So, ang one-stop shop sa NAIA ay tulong-tulong na pinangangasiwaan ng Department of Transportation, Department of Tourism, DSWD, PCG, Marina, OTS, MIA, OWA, DFA, PNP, at ng DOQ para masiguro ang kaligtasan ng mga returning overseas Filipino at kanilang mga pamilya sa kasagsagan ng pandemya. Sabi rin po dito sa kanilang post, noong nakaarang linggo, nagdagdag pa po tayo ng mga Philippine Coast Guard frontline personnel sa NAIA habang patuloy na nireresolba ang isyo sa pagitan ng PhilHealth at Philippine Red Cross na nagdulot ng delay sa encoding ng mga swab samples ng mga returning overseas Filipinos. Muli po nating pinapaalalahanan ang mga returning overseas Filipinos na ang Bureau of Quarantine po ang siyang mag issue ng swab test result quarantine clearance gamit ang email address na inyong ibibigay o irerehistro once you do the manual CIF. So, kailangan nyo rin kung irehistro ito sa quarantinecertificate.com. Uh, ito po yung site ng BOQ kung saan kailangan po kayo ay mag-register. So, this is on top of the uh, CIF registration you have done in the airport. So, yun po yung clarification po natin. So, this is on top of. So, this is the uh, quarantine uh, certification registration. So, please make sure while you are in the hotel, do make sure that you register and upload the necessary documents. And once you upload that, there is a verification site from BOQ wherein you can verify the results and dun din po sa uh, kumbaga, 
sa email address niyo ipapadala yung resulta at kung sakasakali po hindi po nila pinadala agad at 5 uh, days na or more, message niyo lang po ako so that I could share to you the email address that they have given to me. Now, bakit hindi ko po agad maibigay sa inyo? Because sometimes they change it because kapag maraming marami na po ang nagpapadala po dun sa email address, so the BOQ personnel told me na pinapalitan nila yung email kasi nagbabounce back na. So, once it's your turn at kung sakasakaling nangyari yun sa inyo, just email nyo po ako at ibibigay ko sa inyo yung latest email address na binigay din po sa akin so that you can email them directly. So, these are the information that uh, we have read or is available in the Philippine Coast Guard FB page. So, again, if you want to read it on your own, uh, you can definitely go to their FB page and mababasa nyo po ito. Everyone, balik bayan sa OFWs. Uh, all I want to say is, again, stay healthy, stay safe, and God bless you all. And looking forward to see you in my next video. Oh, by the way, I want to invite everyone to please subscribe to my channel if you've not yet subscribed so that you can get updated with timely information. And for my subscribers, thank you so much for always tuning in and watching. With that, everyone, see you on my next video.